Good morning and welcome to the next of our daily videos from Yoker Evangelical Church, uh, where each day we're just taking five minutes to look at something from our readings that morning that have encouraged us. So this morning in our plan, we read Leviticus chapter 7 and Psalm 7 and 8, and I'd just like to share something from Psalm 8 that really encouraged me this morning. I'm finding at the moment that it's really easy to feel worthless. And with the lack of usual routine, without being able to leave the house as much, and even without being able to help people in the ways that we might like, I'm finding it easy for us to get very weighed down and to feel that we are more of a burden than a help. And I was encouraged this morning to see in Psalm 8 the worth that all human beings have. And it's really interesting the way that Psalm 8 does that is by showing us just how small we are to build us up. So let's look at it. The Psalm is all about looking to God. In verse 1 and 9, you get that repeat. It's always important when things are repeated in the Bible. And so Psalm 8 says twice, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And what David does as he writes this psalm is he looks out at the world. You can imagine he stands on his palace balcony, looks out at all the wonders of creation, and he is amazed. I imagine David standing out on a summer's night and looking up at the sky and just being in awe at all the stars he can see and remembering that God is the one that has made all of them. Uh, he is reminded of God's greatness. He is reminded that God is the one that has made absolutely everything he looks at. And as he does that, he is forced to remember just how small he is. To remember that to the God who made stars and black holes, uh, one human being is a tiny thing. He asks that in verse 4. He says, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? Yet, God still cares for humanity. He cares for each one of us. And it's amazing that David sees that the God of galaxies is also the God of our daily lives. Uh, look with me down at verse 5, where having just talked about how great God is, how little humans are, he is able to say, but God still cares for them. He says, you have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. You see, by, be you see, by seeing a big God and a little me, David remembers just how much God cares for the people. Uh, by seeing himself in proper perspective to God, David is led back to praise him and say, you care so much for me. By seeing himself in right perspective to God, David is able to rightly then praise him. And that's why he comes back and says again in verse 9, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. So this is a time when it's easy to feel our fragility. Um, when it's easy to feel worthless with all the things that we're not able to do. Psalm 8, though, is a great encouragement to look at how great God is. Uh, even in isolation, we can do this. If you look out your window and see a tree, right, you can remember that God has planned where all the branches are going to go, that he is the one that has decided where every leaf is going to fall. And by doing that, right, remembering that God has done that throughout existence, we remember how small we are. And yet, we can use David's word to praise God, to say he is the one that cares for us, and he is the one that has given us our worth. And then with all that, we can sing with David his repeated phrase, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And so as you pray after this video, you can thank God that he is a great God, that he is the creator of everything, and that he is also the God that cares for individuals. Uh, that he was the God who watched over you as you got out of bed this morning, 
that he is the God that cares for you every minute of your life. It's Saturday the 4th of April and tomorrow will be Sunday when we will have our service uploaded here. Wherever you found this video, tomorrow at 11 o'clock we will have our Sunday service. Uh, even though we're not able to meet together, it is a joy to be able to watch the video. So until then, God bless and have a good day.